Hi everybody, the next exciting replay is waiting for us out of one of my recent matches in the strategy game Cossacks 2 Battle for Europe. And today we're gonna see a match between the red player Lancer, who is playing for Poland and is located on this side uh, of the map, and the white player Inquisitor, who is playing for Austria and uh, he's playing on this side of the map. An Inquisitor is a top 10, a top 5 player and Lancer on the other hand is sometimes a top 100 player. And we can take a quick look at the map. Um, so we have two opposing sides so to say and you can cross each side by going over two bridges. You can see the first one here and the second bridge is right over here and you have also the possibility to cross each side by that swampy road you can see here. And at the beginning it's the usual procedure, more or less you have to build some buildings, especially the barracks in order to be able to train infantry units and you also have to capture neutral villages like this one here and, and that uh, will improve your resources, you will gain more resources um, by doing that. And we have seen that enough, I think, in my last videos, so I just wanted to share some interesting quotes of Napoleon Bonaparte with you, and I've picked two of um, his quotes. The first one is, never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake, and I found that very wise, because I think it's um, true, um, even in Cossacks 2 Battle for Europe, you can apply that. So for example, um, if, your enemy, uh, if you want to launch a major offensive here, going over that bridge and attack the enemy here, and you see um, the enemy is moving away his troops, maybe to the um, left side of the map, um, don't stop him from doing that, because it's good for you, he will move away his um, troops further and further and just wait one or two minutes and then you can attack and he won't be able to bring his, troop, bring his troops um, back again in time and you will um, might be able to break through um, here and have a successful offensive. And um, the other quote I wanted to share with you is um, strategy is the art of making use of time and space. I'm less concerned about the latter than the former. Space we can recover, lost time never. And um, that quote of Napoleon Bonaparte I found also very helpful um, for waging war in strategy games um, because you are able to retreat with your troops a little bit when they are outnumbered and don't have a good chance to win against um, the enemy troops. So I think then it's really good to back um, up a little bit um, because um, you can um, gather more troops at um, the location where you are um, retreating to and then you can fight again and have, have a best, better chance to win. Um, and it's no good idea to just um, stand your ground and fight wherever you are. And timing, of course, is also very important. You have to throw in your reinforcements right in time in order to be able to win the battle. And let's go back to the actual gameplay and switch to Lancer's perspective. So here we could see the Austrian Fusiliers uh, exchanging qualifier with the Polish Fusiliers of Lancer and it's a fight for that gold village here. And we can also see mounted U-lands of Poland moving and attacking the civil police guarding that neutral gold village. And the We've Austrian fusiliers the are moving in the village, the into the village, and were able to capture it. And now the Polish fusiliers are attacking the Austrian fusiliers. And the Polish fusiliers are low on morale and the Austrian fusiliers were shooting and could make the Polish unit panic. So that's the first victory for Inquisitor. And he's going back a little bit and tries to defend the gold village. But there are two Polish fusilier units who are attacking him. 
So I think he won't be able to hold that village and that was the case because Lancer now has captured it. And on the other side of the map we can see two infantry units up for Inquisitor. He has built a blockhouse here and Lancer has to protect his city and has lined up with one um, Polish Fusilier unit here and tries to build a blockhouse in time and the Landwehr of Austria of Inquisitor is moving into that food village of Lanza in order to capture it. And now he advances also, Inquisitor advances also with his um, Austrian Fusiliers and is moving in moving them into the uh, food village as well. And Lanza is building an artillery depot, probably in order to be able to build a howitzer to destroy that blockhouse. And here we can see on the left the side of the map the, the uh, Polish, um, the Fusilier unit of Austria of Inquisitor um, is taking a defensive position on that bridge in order to block any further advance of the Polish troops, which you can see here in that near that near to that gold village. village. And we have to switch because there's another we battle happening. So there uh, Lancer was able to repel the Austrian Austrian infantry with two Polish fusilier units and one squad of mounted Ulans. And on the other side of the map Lancer is trying to be aggressive and attack the Fusilier squad of Inquisitor which stands his ground here and he attacks it well, uh, from the left side and we're shooting against them. And here we can see the Inquisitor were moving into that gold village with mounted light dragoons and they are superior to the Polish mounted Ulans because they only can use their lances and the mounted dragoons of course can shoot but another mounted Ulan squad of Poland is joining the fight and can repel the cavalry unit of Inquisitor and here the fight for the bridge is still going on the Polish fusiliers were shooting the Austrian Fusiliers and they are pretty much demoralized and now they are getting attacked by the Polish cavalry and will disintegrate I think. And that's the case, they are fleeing and Inquisitor has to back up and get into another defensive position. Um, but there's other Fusilier unit here standing in line as also very demoralized, so it's uh, a hard task now for him to defend any further progress of Lancer. And now Lancer is able to capture back that gold village because the Austrian cavalry retreats. And we can switch to the right side of the map. Here we can see the howitzer of Poland is lining up against the enemy blockhouse in order to destroy it. Enemy is at rifles firing distance. Now we can see another Polish Fusilier unit is going for that neutral um, gold village on the left side of the map and will kill the two policemen squad here. And on the bridge a big fight develops. A Grenadier unit is up for, La uh, for Inquisitor and Inquisitor is attacking with his Fusiliers at first and is shooting against the Polish Fusiliers and now he's sending in his Grenadiers but there are too many cavalry units up for Lanza I think and uh, he will send them in pursuit of the Austrian infantry so Lanza was able to repel that attack of an Inquisitor of Austria and can gain some territory now, maybe, if he's able to cross that bridge. But another Fusilier squad of Austria is arriving and shooting the Polish cavalry. The enemy's close. 
And here you can see a Polish Fusilier unit is moving without stamina and is losing morale. The enemy is closed now. So Lanza should shoot with them soon. Sir, we're out of and he does it now. The are to fire. And here on the left side, one Polish Fusilier unit is slaughtering the Austrian cavalry. It tries to escape. So now Lancer is able to cross that bridge and come into enemy territory with two infantry units. But that one is pretty much demoralized and hasn't reloaded. Now the Polish Fusiliers are shooting the Grenadiers of Austria, but the Grenadiers of Austria were also throwing grenades, I think, and were able to frighten that Polish Fusilier unit. On the other side, I missed that Lancer was able to cross that bridge with his troops after he destroyed his blo uh, this blockhouse. And now he's trying to attack the true production of Inquisitor. And he's also sending a Polish fusilier unit on the left side to that gold village of Inquisitor. So a lot of things are going on. And Inquisitor tries to defend and has built two blockhouses here. In order to demoralize every troop that comes on that road. But here you could see uh, Lancer was able to capture one iron village of Inquisitor with that fusilier unit, which has to reload now. And Lance has also two mounted Ulan squads up. And here he here Inquisitor tries to frighten two Polish fusilier units with one squad of grenadiers and one squad of mounted Ulans. But I think that won't be enough against the two Polish cavalry units, which have gained veteran status now, you can see it here, plus 16 in uh, melee, damage, melee damage, that's very, that's very much. The foe has entered the firing range. And now Lancer tries to block the barracks of Inquisitor by sending two cavalry units in front of the barracks and now the Grenadiers of Austria are attacking the decimated Polish fusilier units here and they could make them disintegrate. So that's a success for Inquisitor but on the other hand on the bottom of the map you can see Lanza uh, was able to move um, one fusilier uh, squad uh, in here in order to capture that iron village, so a uh, bit of a sneaky move. And the, I think Inquisitor destroyed that barracks here and um, builds now um, the next barracks um, on that place. So he fights on and tries to gain territory back. Here you could see the grenadiers were throwing grenades against the Polish fusiliers who were holding a defensive position here. And the mounted Ulans of Poland are maneuvering a little bit. And I think um, now Polish grenadiers are up. That's good news for Lancer. And they are heading into the fight. The two blockhouses here were destroyed by the howitzer. There's no food to feed the troops. And now Inquisitor is building a blockhouse in front of his barracks with a lot of peasants, seven, 17. And here we can see the Polish fusiliers were able to capture that iron village on the bottom of the map and trying to advance to the food village, I think. But once I forgot to command them, I think. But now they are advancing again. So if um, 
pretty many things are happening, it's really hard to um, be concentrated and um, the enemy's close. yeah, consider every battle and um, command every troop. That can be a very hard task. And you can see Inquisitor has um, taken defensive position here. Um, uh, one fusilier unit of him standing in line and is fighting against that polished grenade unit. And now he's attacking with one grenade unit and trying to drive back the Polish cavalry, whilst Lancer um, retreated with one squad of Polish fusiliers to the Gold Village here. And now you can see the Polish fusiliers are trying to destroy the infrastructure of Austria and were able to destroy that academy. We can take a quick look over here. So the Polish Grenadiers who stood there, I think, were moving here in order to destroy the palace. The Inquisitor has to react to that and tries to bring in his Grenadiers in order to fight that Polish Grenadier unit behind that building. It's also bringing Mounted Ulans into the fight and another Grenadier unit. And here you can see the Mounted Ulans were killing the, the fleeing Austrian Grenadiers. And on the other hand, Inquisitor was able to frighten that Polish Grenadier unit with his um, Austrian Grenadiers. And could also prevent Lanza from destroying that palace. And she's repairing it with his peasants now. And here you can see the howitzer of Poland tries to destroy the blockhouse that Inquisitor has built in front of the barracks. And here two Polish fusiliers are just waiting for the right time to attack and now the blockhouse is destroyed and, and I think now would be the right time to attack. Maybe Lanza will attack uh, with them in a few seconds and that's the case. So it's a desperate situation, I think, for Inquisitor, but he fights on and can field three infantry units here. But he has to back up with this one Grenadier unit in order to the enemy's closed now. drive the enemy back. Uh, that is now blocking his um, barracks. Monitulans are too much, I think, are too many and can send all of the troops of Inquisitor uh, and can frighten all of the troops of Inquisitor. So I think he has to give up and the Polish army should have secured victory. So that was the match. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. Maybe you can comment um, what was the decisive moment of the game. I would be interested to hear that. See you in the next video, take care and goodbye.